Ugly baby. Ugly baby. Dog bathroom spaceship. Surprise! It's broken legs. Surprise! I brought you. I brought you nothing. Surprise! I brought you some death. Oh, bless those children and their sweet giving hearts. Surprise! It's a toenail smoothie. Surprise! It's human misery and pain. <laughs> Surprise! It's dog vomit slime mold. The children of today are so giving. Someone should do something for them. Give them something. Surprise, it's your dad. I know. I'll order them a pizza made from their dads. But I didn't order a pizza. You're welcome. Don't ask an alien to marry you. She'll throw up on you. They always eat. It's like they put meat in the dryer washer. It doesn't really. I think it tumbled around hitting everywhere. Hmm, someone better fix that shower. Jabra! Pick me up some hair! Don't forget the eggs! I want to hold things to the entire day! And I want to wear it! I am the Jaws doll! Please don't joke about Jaws I'm very serious about jousting. Jousting is not a laughing matter. Joust for life. Joust, baby, joust. Can't stop me from jousting. I'm still gonna joust. 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 Where's my horse? I see a joust coming on. You gonna look at me like that? Time to joust. Charge. Where is your ceremony gonna be? We like nature a lot, so we're thinking somewhere outdoors. Uh -huh. I thought we were thinking of House of Air. We're um, going to invite like a lot of people, I think. You said small. She wears black every time she lies. Think this will be your one and only, or uh, you, you, you plan on having a couple marriages in this life? No, oh, probably a couple. Yeah. How long do you think it'll last? I mean, best guess. One day, we met in a fried chicken shop, and now we're gonna get married, and then leave each other. Never take the summer job at the aquarium. You will floof, and, and I really mean it. Do not climb the ladder, or else you will fall into a pool of sharks and die. I really mean it this time. Jeez! A pickle named Pickle and a can of magically spiced nacho cheese lived together in the Bronx. They had a hippo as a roommate. The hippo was in love with a phoenix that loved to wrap about hands. Wait a minute to ring, Pinky. You're sucking on your thumb like it's a pinky. The can of nacho cheese lived in constant fear that the hippo would eat it. And Pickle desperately wanted the phoenix to wrap about feet. The phoenix planned to do so. But just before the performance... It wants me to rap about feet. Jeez, okay, let's see. Flip-flop, flip-flop. I put my toes in a flip-flop. Oh, 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 oh. It died from a sudden heart attack. In reaction to the partner's death, the hippo reached for a can of nacho cheese and cracked him open. The can of nacho cheese screamed for his life as the hippo raised him to their lips. Pickle did not see that his roommate was about to be consumed, but he was cold. So he ran over and hugged the hippo to bask in the hippo's warm warmth. The hippo thought that Pickle was trying to take its snack, so the hippo chugged the nacho cheese down. Realizing what had just happened to his friend, Pickle ran for his life. Fearing that Pickle would alert the authorities, the hippo chased after him and in the process, destroyed the apartment. Pickle fell into a manhole. He washed out to a lake and met his friend, Red Velvet Worm. Just when Pickle thought it was safe, Hippo emerged from the lake too, supercharged with the spices from the can of nacho cheese. Oh, 
always the trusty friend. Red Velvet Worm thrust itself on the hippo and froze it with its glue juice, allowing Pickle to run to safety. Back at the ruined apartment, Pickle discovered Hippo's journal. In it, Pickle found plans to poison the phoenix so that the hippo could feign grief and drink the can of nacho cheese. The last page of the journal had the words, Today I will blow up Pickle. It was then that Pickle heard the ticking. Just before the explosion, Pickle heard the glorious ghostly sounds of the phoenix wrapping about feet. And this little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy had... Mabel, stop cheating and jousting! I'm so mad when you cheat. I'm gonna joust you if you don't get quiet. I'm gonna joust you into my mouth. The ambiance is off. I'm Beyonce. The ambiance is off. I am Beyonce. The ambiance is off. I'm Beyonce. <laughs> the ambiance is off. I am Beyonce. Belled Gardens. Place, not a place. Belled Gardens. Ding dong, bell gardens. What's that you're growing, Stephen? Well, I'm just growing some bells for the church. It is a place. It is a place. Bell gardens is a place. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. For an extra point, do you want to guess where it is? Uh, outside of a house? Technically, you're right. Bell gardens, California is outside of a house. Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Olivia. We're, We're professional, professional cups, cups of, of coffee. coffee. Titanic, Rocky II, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome? Yes. Yes. Do you ever worry about a professional actor trying to drink you on the set? Yes. Has anyone ever tried to drink you? Yes. Who? Tom Cruise. Show me the money! Uh, it actually gets really hot in the cup. And you have to eat grapes. If I retired from professional cup of coffee, I'd probably do professional mug of tea. What kind of lines do you get? Pass the grapes. I need to take a break, it's so hot. Some of the beverage actors are going on strike because of their pay. They get paid one cent for every hour. What would you say to a young uh, aspiring actor who wants to, to become a professional cup of coffee? Don't do it. My dad keeps taking me to the opera. I hate it. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Normally I can't eat it because we think I'm lactose intolerant. What's your favorite type of cheese? I can barely eat any cheese. But manchego. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like milk chocolate? 6. And I can't eat it. I'm sorry that the last question might not have been very relevant to you, so I just kind of want to switch it up. What's your favorite kind of butter? Plant-based butter, because I can actually eat it. What's your favorite kind of milk? You're a pescatarian. A very close, but flexitarian. <laughs> When you're 55, 
life. You're gonna get invited to a dinner party. You're gonna know everyone there. Samantha's gonna be there. Theo's gonna be there. And Eddie's gonna be there. And Eddie's gonna say, hey, do you wanna try my squeaky cheese? I just came back from Wisconsin. I made it myself. And you're gonna think to yourself, I don't like squeaky cheese, but I'm gonna try it anyway because I like squeaky things. You're gonna take a mouthful of the squeaky cheese, but it's gonna taste disgusting. Now, you don't know these people too well yet, and you're going to be reluctant to spit out the squeaky cheese so it's going to stay in your mouth. You're going to keep the squeaky cheese in your mouth even though you want to spit it out and you want to throw up, but you can't because you don't want to offend these people at their dinner party. Samantha's going to ask you a question, and Theo's going to follow up, and Eddie's going to say, hey, why aren't you talking? And then you're going to you're going to just have the squeaky cheese in your mouth, and you're going to open it up, and they're like, oh, God, he's sick. He's got rabies. He's got rabies. And they're going to take you to the hospital, and they're going to put you on a lot of medication, and you're going to be in there for a week, maybe, maybe even seven days. Twinkle fingers. Chicken. Rolling meatball. Rolling. Spanish. Pasta. Pasta. Tied. Plus socks. If, if that works out good, try a horse. I don't care if you have robot cars. You can't joust from a car. You can't joust from a plane. You can't joust from a boat. You can't joust from your grandpa's back. Ah! Turn down that hip song! Dog, that damn spaceship! I hate it! Dog bathroom spaceship. Place not a place. Dog bathroom spaceship. Is it? No. Uh, I don't know. Well, place, e place. I think it place. is. Place. Well, place. He hasn't said not Dog a place. Bathroom yet. spaceship. Place. Uh, place. Um. Place. No, I don't Dog think so. Spaceship I don't know. Delaware. Dog bathroom spaceship Delaware, on the East Coast. Okay. Dog bathroom spaceship Delaware. It, it's a place. 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 Dog bathroom spaceship is not a place, it's a hit song. Oh, oh no, the radio's broken. Maybe we should sing a song. I guess we should. Dog, dog bathroom, bathroom spaceship. Dog bathroom spaceship. Dog bathroom spaceship. Dog bathroom spaceship. Hey, Joe! Yo, dogs, she getting into my arm and stealing all my vegetables every night. If you don't get them trained by tomorrow, I'm going to strap your dog to one of those rockets and send him into space. Get it done, Jones! Stop stealing my rubber duckies! They were very special! I had 15 of them! Now I only have two! You don't even bathe! I'm a rug in the bathroom. The sink's leaking and it's dripping on me. <sighs> How many people live in the house that you, you're in? 28 people live in the house and there's only one bathroom. People ever have phone conversations while they're in the bathroom? What, I heard one of them talk to their girlfriend. What'd they say? Will you marry me? Someone proposed while on the toilet in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lucky you, you got to witness that. Was, that. was that a special moment? No. Why would they do it in a bathroom? And why would they do it on the phone in the bathroom? How do they give the ring? Sounds like a tough life. Try being a toilet. All right, all right, listen to me. Do not drop out of high school, okay? You're not as good of a flautist as you think you are, all right? Please don't do it, all right? Please don't do it. My mom thinks I'm a marshmallow. I can never put me on a stick and hold me over a fire. I say no s'mores. I won't have it. No s'mores for you, woman. I'm not a conviction. I'm not a marshmallow. I'm a child. I have a future. I pay my taxes. I'm gonna grow up one day. You're sick. I'm a never You take my shoes and camp it. Because I cannot trust that you will not eat them. I would not want this chores and glue cracker. Please take me off the stick. On the night of July 13th, remember.
over to charge your phone. The day after, you go to visit grandma in the hospital. You're on your phone and you realize you're on 20%. You don't press low power mode. You side the plug in your charger. Five minutes later, you realize you unplugged her life support. She is long past. You sit there, unable to fathom what you have done. Then you see Uncle Jerry right there. You blame it on him. You escape out the room. The nurses come. Uncle Jerry's arrested. Grandma is dead. You just sit there, all by yourself. So remember, charge your phone every night. Marshmallow Behab. A marshmallow named Fred had a deep, secret love for another marshmallow named Fredward. While swimming in a tall mug of hot cocoa, Fredward had a dramatic idea to build a candy cane diving board. I'm gonna build a candy cane diving board! Fredward went house to house in the marshmallow village to share her great idea. I'm gonna build a candy cane diving board! When she got to Fred's house, Fred was so surprised that he jumped, slammed the door in Fredward's face, put on a tuxedo, and then returned as if nothing had happened. Hey there, how you doing? Fredward told Fred about the candy cane diving board idea. I'm gonna build the candy cane diving board! And Fred wanted to help. I wanna help. They found a piece of candy cane and asked a kid marshmallow to test it out. Hey kid, you wanna try something dangerous and unsafe, but also maybe fun? That sounds great. Unfortunately, the candy cane wasn't bouncy. The kid broke his left leg and his whole head. This isn't great. As Fred and Fredward wondered, what could make it bouncy? The people of the village were saddened by the boy's injuries. To lighten the mood, Fred decided to throw a party for everyone in the village. All at the party, Fred asked Fredward, Can I dance with you? Fredward agreed and Fred's heart swelled with joy. It was then that the human hand reached into the dead floor and grabbed the marshmallow boy with the broken leg and the broken head. The marshmallows raced to the safety of the cocoa mug and the entire village was drunk by a human. Deep in the human's stomach, Fred found Fred were. Shall we dance? As they danced, they realized the floor was soaked with stomach acid. Just as the acid began to burn, a cornflake saved them by offering his body as a life raft. Hop aboard. There's not much chance for me, but you two could live. The human continued to drink and then blew up. Fred and Fredward rode the cornflake out of the human and landed on the floor of the car that the human was driving. Fredward stood on the shoulders of the other marshmallows. She opened the window, accidentally flew out of the car, and landed on a cherry tree. Fred was desperate without his secret life and jumped out the window after her. He too landed on the cherry tree. He saw Fredward talking to a cool male cherry. What the what? Fred was so mad that he ripped the cherry from the tree and threw him onto the road. He then confessed his love for Fredward. To his great surprise, she kissed him and they fell in love. They reveled in the moment until a hawk ate them. Well, my name is DJ Nerd Dude. I've been here one week. I'm a DJ. What kind of, what kind of stuff do you spin? Opera. My name is Roger. I'm the captain of Dog Bathroom Spaceship and I've been aboard for a couple of hours or so. My name is Lester Fester. I am an emotional support person. Uh, I've been on Dog Bathroom Spaceship for one year. We help you by walking around the ship and supporting your emotions and telling you what you're doing wrong and right to help you be better. You're walking a little too slow. I specifically don't like your hair. Your hands are a little too big. You're doing the job wrong. I still don't like your hair. Do you have a small dog? Actually, no, since all the small dogs are kind of gone now. And the only one is that guy Jones's dog. I hate the guy. Love the dog. He just walks around muttering to himself. I, I saw the dog walking by, that scary dog. I'm like, please don't take my vegetables from my farms. And so he passed by. I'm like, oh my god, phew. And then he goes to the other room and I hear screaming. And I'm like, oh my god, what's happening? I go and then that's when I figure out he starts eating like people's vegetables from their arms. A dog came in to my house and he was trying to get all my food from my arms. Uh, he was trying to climb in my fingertips. I grow cucumber, I grow broccoli, I grow arugula, and I grow spinach. 
And this one I grow watermelons, and this one I grow apples. You want apples? <gasps> How about some watermelons? <gasps> Arugula rhubarb. Oh! Ah! 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 Mm Uh, I'm guessing that if I had to grow any vegetable from here, I would probably be growing... I would be growing apple. Pie. Why do you beg me pies? I hate pie! Cherry, no! Apple, no! I hate pies! They're bad! No! No more pies! I don't even like you! Go away and get a life! I hate pies! And you give me pies every day! Breakfast, lunch, dinner! I don't want pies! I don't want you anywhere near me! Stop giving me peach cobbler! Is that even a pie? If you think you can buy my affection with pie, you are mistaken! Raph! Barry! What does that even mean? I don't even eat pie! Do not become a filmmaker. Become a tap dancer. It is your true passion. Speak freely. Become a tap dancer. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Please, please, please. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Yes, it is yes, a, place. a place. Sorry, I'm not a place. Fire! The ambiance is off. I am Beyonce. Queso? No. Queso. No. Queso? No. Queso. No. Queso? No. Let's talk pudding for a while. Ranch, blue cheese, or just sour cream? What's your favorite kind of cheese quesadilla? Top three fondue cheeses? Go. No. Leche. No. Leche? No. Nachos? I liked them when I could eat them. Or when I didn't know I was lactose intolerant. Well, actually, I don't know right now, but we're guessing. <sighs> what exactly is lactose? The stuff that comes in milk. I thought lactose was a type of geology. No, you can't cheat. Oh. Wait, I can't cheat in it? No. No, no, no. I'm gonna be the only one cheating. You no. are not gonna cheat. Check out Check these it. chompers. <sighs> Seriously. <sighs> I'm the joust You do karate, I do jack. Then you're so tough, meet my legs. No, I don't do birthday parties. And I don't do pinatas. Sis kebab is what you'll be. I'll turn you into roasted egg. <laughs> they better know, but if someone else to joust me, they better know they're going to turn into strand of egg to meat. <laughs> Why do you refuse to uncross your arms? Because... I love being fat. Okay, but why did you steal all that lemonade? You know that Eddie got fired for that. I am a pretzel. Pretzel, pretzel, pretzel. Pretzel, 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 pretzel. Loved ones become pretzels. A 
Adolf Hitler was a pretzel. Al Capone was a pretzel. Lady Macbeth was a pretzel. Darth Vader was a pretzel. Taylor Swift is a pretzel. The lady that made Caillou is definitely a pretzel. Senator Scott Wiener! Pretzel. If you or someone you love might be at risk of becoming a pretzel, please call 1-800-HOT-DOG-NO-BUN. Hot dog no bun? I'm not eating that. 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%, Oh, I like 7%, that. 38%, 39%, 40. Interesting. 76%, 77%, 81%, I like that 82%, 97%, 98%, 99% whole milk. Wait, where was I? Whole milk. All right. So, yeah, what do you think of milk? I don't know if you heard that I can't drink it. Didn't see that coming. Time to jump on the Beyonce boat. Hurry up and on the Beyonce boat. You got words wrong, do you? Booty to the boat. Go, watch out, watch out. You say it in, that, in like a southern accent. I don't know what that is. So, so southern, southern have a little bit of like the or they they talk like this, y'all. Action! I'm a fork! A fork. A big fork. Hi, my name is Jones. And uh, I get my vegetables from my neighbor's arm, and my 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 mama loves her Kia. What do you think about mamas who drive Kias? I'm gonna tell you a secret about my mama. She loves her Kia. My mama loves her Kia. My mom loves her Kia. My mama loves her Kia more than she loves me. I think my mom's getting divorced with my dad, and she's gonna marry her Kia. I feel bad for my dad. He has to sleep in the garage, and my mom's Kia takes his spot in the bed. I love you, Kia. I love you, Kia. Why? Why? Mira, Mira, on the wall. Who's the ugliest of them all? Ugly baby.